Hey guys, I wanted to make a video and just talk about my PC build. I started off with getting a small form factor PC. I built it in a Fractal Terra case. The point of this build was so that I could run Counter-Strike 2, horribly optimized game with high FPS, but then also have the added benefit of being able to travel with it if I have to travel for any sort of event. Um, it fits in a carry-on case. So that was kind of like the main focus of it, but it also looks pretty cool. So that is a secondary benefit of it. I'm putting in the description all of the parts and links to them on Amazon so you guys can check those out as well. For the CPU, I went with the AMD Ryzen 7800X3D. It's supposed to be one of the best CPUs on the market for gaming specifically. So I went with that. I built it in the mini ITX board, obviously for the small form factor case that I have. I got the Gigabyte Aorus B650i Ultra. I got the Western Digital 850X Black, one terabyte SSD. It's an M2. There's a few M2 slots on the board, so that was no problem. I got the DDR5 Corsair Vengeance, 32 gigs, 6,000 megahertz CL30 timing RAM. There's uh, two DIMM slots on the board, so I got two 16 gigabyte sticks to slot it in there. I'm using an old RTX 3080 out of my old PC, saves me a few dollars. The comparison would be, I guess, a 4070 in terms of performance or 4080 if you want to get the, I guess, equivalent successor of it. I have an 850 watt power supply but I should have gone something a little bit smaller, not about the wattage output, but in terms of the size of it for the, I guess, wiring of everything. I'll show you that in a second. For the CPU cooler, I went the IDIS 55 Black. It fits this PC, it fits the small form factor, no problem. There's plenty of space on the sides of it. And I got myself an external case fan, 120 millimeters. The case was pretty easy to get inside. You have a side panel on each side that you're able to lift up from the sides, and then you can just unclip it in and out. And then the top, you just slide it out, and then it comes out. So you can fully open up and reveal everything. Across the length of this is a spine, and you can use this. Uh, there's two screws on the top, two screws on the bottom, and you can adjust the spine to be able to move it closer to the GPU side or closer to the CPU side. Looking at the inside of this, this is what I mean by I had too big of a PSU. I went for the L version, the 850L, and what that does is it means that it's larger in length, and that didn't give me a lot of space down here to work with. So in here, cable management, was super tight and it was very hard for me to start balancing things in. I also started off by putting the case fan, you can see kind of it at the bottom here. I ended up mounting it on the outside of the case rather than the inside because all these cables need to go somewhere. So if you're gonna do a build like this, I would probably suggest going for a smaller PSU if you're using less power in the in the PC, just go for a smaller PSU. It'll give you a lot more space to work with, allow you to mount the fan inside the computer, and it'll give you a lot more space with the cable management. Another problem I had here was getting the cable here. I had to put it across. Um, it It's basically narrowly wedged between the CPU cooler and the side of the case panel. It gives it enough clearance. It's not interfering with it. It seems to be okay. Everything's pretty well nestled in there. You can't really move anything. It's it's wedged in. I, I didn't even use twist ties or anything. It's just completely jammed in there. This is what I was talking about with the spine. You'll see these two screws and then numbers one through seven here. And basically you can move it in either direction and you'll see this is the clearance that we have between the cooler and the side panel. And then this is the clearance between the GPU. So it's it's a pretty tight fit. I found out that th around three was going to be the best alignment for the spine. Part of my research to get this build, I was looking through different builds on PC Part Picker, and I also looked through YouTube videos of other people building their stuff. So I had kind of an idea of what fit, what didn't, how people build, did the build, what temps people got using equivalent specs. So 7800X3D specifically with a variety of coolers or people that were just building a very comparable rig and just seeing what temps they got. And a lot of them were able to manage it under 70 degrees with these coolers. So I'm like, okay, cool. This sounds good. 